All right, so uh, this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well a Taurus Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading, April 20th to April 26th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. And as well, if you are interested in uh, learning how to read tarot cards and you like the way I do it, I'm offering as well online live tarot classes in which uh, I'm going to explain you the cards in their uh, relationship and career representation, positive and negative as well, how they stand into the dedicated spread I'm using. So hopefully at the end of the course, you will be set to go to do your own readings. So uh, we do have the page of wands as a general topic for you, Taurus, uh, which is going to be fed with the energy of the ten of wands. And uh, that is what supports and feeds the situation. Followed by uh, the star card, that is to be the challenge though, uh, which is simultaneously a good and a kind of like a difficult card to overcome. I can't kind of like twist my, my how, how can I say it, my existence and my soul around it. But once overcome, but once overcome it's, um, it's an awesome experience, okay? Then we go to the uh, gifts and the blessings here, which is the gift and the blessing of the seven of uh, swords, followed by uh, the impression that you are leaving into the people around. That is going to be the nine of wands as an impression. And the final one, that is to be the guidance, which is the guidance of the five of cups. All right. So uh, what do we have here? It is a... Um, Kind of like a new beginning, but only if you are open for it, okay? Because this is what the page of uh, wands, I will start with the uh, with the situation. This is what the page of wands, it does represent, that one can, can start new things, new job, uh, a new law, for example, new relationship, anything new, only if one is open for it. Because the thing with the page it is that the page is um, it's yet to understand how strong the page is and that is actually eligible for something new. OK, it doesn't have to stay in that place. The problem or other problem that the page has, it is that almost everybody goes to get goes against it. It is because the idea of the page and in generally the vision of the page, it seems ridiculous. OK, it seems immature to say the least in the other in the eyes of others that's why the page is very insubordinate okay and that's why the page hates to be told what to do because the page has its own own vision and wants to explore it okay but only if the page understands that it is strong enough to push into that direction so that is to be the situation Okay, that you are going to have an opportunity for anything new and with the page is whatever you decide to be, like I said, new job, new relationship, you know, new enterprise, whatever. And then we go to the energies, okay, which are going to surround the whole thing. And that will be the energy of the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands uh, as an energy tells us that your vision that seems ridiculous and preposterous in the eyes of others is very accomplishable by the energies okay but there is a, a long road for you that need to that you need to walk on mm, ten of wands refers to the mm, ways of how one thing is to be manifested and that there is no way to cut a corner it is just it is what it is and you got to do it if you want it you can't make any compromises with it for example you start a job all right so with page presents you with a new job and that job has its rules okay it has its already established code of conduct you like the job then you submit to the code of conduct you don't you don't like the code of conduct well then you quit the job it's as simple as that but um ten of wands points that once you follow the code of conduct then you are going to um how can i say it then the the results are going to be awesome because ten of wands always rewards you with more than you have expected as you can see here the person is, is struggling to um uh, to kind of like 
maintain everything he collected in his harvest right all, all the power that he does have from the from the situation it is just uh, you 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 have to follow the rules it's all that it is and that that i think of right now as the page is strong enough on its own maybe it does refer to you maybe uh, it does asks you to get a grip on your life and stop considering you know what kind of anybody else tells you or uh, how can i say it to get other people as an example that is what i'm trying to say and just do the things your way that that maybe this is what those cards are pointing i don't know but to me if i read it for myself to me it would have mean some new opportunity whichever i decide to be but once i jump into it i gotta play it to its very end because that is what the ten of wands refers to um so we have cleared this uh, thing here with the uh, energies and with the situation now let's run to the challenges what kind of a challenge that whole thing is going to present to you taurus the challenge is the night the the star card so what the star card is all about well the star card in the very general thing it's about the hope right so one has a hope and it points that uh, the biggest interpretation of it is because comes after the tower and that is by the method of the fool's journey you read it it says the time of the turmoil it's it's now done all right it, it's over there there is no need for you to struggle anymore and it's it's what you need to understand not only to understand but to accept as well but only if you go for the new only that 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 only comes as a condition here as you if you do follow the narrative so the star card here points that you gotta keep your ideals you may struggle with it but you gotta do it you gotta keep your ideals you gotta keep your dreams high and you have to follow your dream okay it, it could be difficult but you gotta follow it uh, and it difficult is going to be not because you are gonna struggle performing or anything like that the star it's it refers to the belief all right it will be difficult for you to believe that it can happen and it can be majestic at the end because the star offers you that majestic end goal if you will you know a finalization of things that you are feeling on the top of the world it's like you have accomplished the very big cycle in life that it was like a uh, a testament or a, or not testament but as a test of uh, how worthy you are for happiness for success into career as well because the star guys offers you two things really simple two things if you follow the path okay it it, it offers you a long-term prosperity in terms of career and unfolding love and unconditional support in terms of relationship which one is going to be the new one for you well that is up to you to decide probably you're going to have the opportunity for both right but just to warn you once again because that is very important these two cards here they are a an active friends and as an active friends it's a very and it, it's an active fiery friends right not just only active friends they are fiery friends so it it does require a lot of dynamic and ten of wands says that many things are gonna move around. The 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 uh, the energies are gonna make many things to move around, and you have to keep up with those things. Okay, and and, and simultaneously, to give an expression to your idea, you have to be, if you will, spontaneous with incorporation. But once you jump into it, you gotta play the the game to its very end. You cannot bail out of it. Because you risk to lose everything um so with the star card as we saw the challenge is going to be the biggest challenge for you is going to be to believe that that is real and it's happening okay it's just it's just happening and you have to allow it to happen you need to allow either your success to take place and follow the rules that are going to lead you to the ultimate success or the love that it is forming to unfold i don't know what is going to be your case okay but then we go to the gifts and the blessings and that will be the gifts and the blessing of the seven of wands and you cannot ask for anything better than that because the seven of wands refers to where one is finally finding their own battle okay finding it and, and identifying that 
they up until now have lived the life of someone else or have followed the life of someone else the war come here that i have explained it many times so the gift is that this time around everything happens for your own well-being and even though the first card points that you have to follow the rules right and you have to follow the the the, the stipulations and the code of conduct that will not be a problem of yours because you are going to like it. It will fit with your uh, what the Seven of Swords points that is going to fit with, with the understanding of your self-righteousness. So what you are going to have to follow, it's fair. It will seem fair and it's going to be fair to you, that is, because every, every individual is unique. It will be fair and uh, it will be your natural how can I say it, uh, uh, a natural perspective, how things need to unfold, either career or either relationship wise. And above everything else, the gift is that you are not gonna be deceived by it with the seven of swords. Because for one or another reason, the card points that you are either already have taken or you are to take the precautionary measures, not to be deceived by someone, by something, or the most of it by yourself. And then uh, we go to the impression of the people around. Uh, that will be the seven of uh, the nine of uh, one. I'm sorry. So that is a um, kind of a, a, a peculiar uh, impression. It is because the seven of ones in terms of uh, the nine of ones. Oh my God! In terms of a uh, impression, it is when people were seeing you changing. But that change is not going to come out of, out suddenly. It comes based on certain circumstances and experience, and mostly comes comes from a bad experience, all right, from a, a struggle. Because can you see the guy? I mean, bitter, uh, battered, and uh, and kind of guarding his own ground here, and determined to get the things to the very end. Okay, determined to see the things through. And in order to see the things through, one has to make some conscious changes, adaptations, if you will. So this is what people are looking at you uh, and are uh, understanding at that point that you are preparing. And if not preparing, you are already start taking the necessary measures to force or to uh, manifest those conscious changes in your environment that is going to allow you to actually make an initiation here towards whatever new is happening to you guys and whatever hope that is going to give you. But like I said, once you believe in it, uh, your turmoil ends. Okay. And, and that thing starts to happen. Your turmoil ends there. And now we come to the rough part, the guidance. That will be the guidance of the five of cups. So now we talked about fulfilled dreams, accomplished goals you know a new life if you will unfortunately like with everything there are ups and downs and the five of cups refers exactly that but that guidance tells you taurus that whatever loss you are to experience is going to be a temporary and not a permanent one whatever disappointment disappointment you are to experience with that endeavor either job relationship friendship whatever as well is going to be a trifle also so it's not something that you should uh, throw everything away based on it okay and the biggest guidance of the five of cups it is that you are to choose a path uh, there is no mistaking it you are to choose a path here you once you do it you do not deviate from it regardless of what until you see it through and to its very end because that's huge I mean with that follow-up because the star is also a an active friends to the situation and to the uh to the energies of your situation so it all comes together all right it all comes together as a matter of fact all of the cards are a either active supporters and either active friends only this is an enemy or neutral and that's why disappointments 
and certain losses and i i under saying losses i'm not talking about that you are lose somebody or it just is going to be a for example a a, a a loss of pay a loss of patience is going to be a loss of some sort of a, a um you know plan that you have made and etc that you can't make uh, these kind of stuff you know the the usual trivial stuff that always happens in friendships career in, in relationships as well but that should not be once again a prerequisite for you to give up on i don't know on your hope and on your happiness so that being said taurus uh, this was your weekly general tower reading guys big one uh, the way i see it here uh, hopefully you do identify it or you do make up your mind about it i don't know what's your situation but it is going to be mandatory here because that is to be the uh, the end of your struggle once you go by that direction and uh uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, once again, you can check out the description down below. There you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you like the way I read tarot, you want to learn how to read the same way. I'm offering an online tarot classes, which are live tarot classes, six lectures, um, a course. And uh, in this course, we are going to look at the uh, major arcana. And I'm going to explain you how to read them in terms of career, in terms of relationship, in a positive and negative way, uh, and how they stand in generally in a uh, tarot sp in, in my dedicated tarot spread. So once you finalize the course, you are going to be set to read by your own. So yeah, uh, hopefully now you're going to stay safe and see you next time. Till then, bye.